interesting. Did, did playing Malcolm help me with this time? Um, I don't know. I, I got asked this uh, by someone else about how he would have handled his... I think this would have been really good for him, actually. But I think that he's good good with himself as well. And I think after the events of the first season, um, I think him just taking some time to himself would be would be a very good thing. Um, honestly, to help me during this time, uh, after doing Malcolm for nine months, um, it was the best thing for me to do actually was, was the quarantine. And it was pretty much what I was going to be doing was just nothing for at least a couple of months um, because leading a television show and especially playing this character is so much work, like more work than I've ever done emotionally and physically. And so actually this was a bit of a gift um, because it also meant that we didn't have to see anyone. <laughs> it was like a great excuse to be like, sorry, COVID can't see you. Um, and just to be able to isolate in that time. Um, it's gone on for a little bit long now and, and long may I continue if it's keeping us all safe. But, um, but certainly at the beginning, it was a nice way to, for me to decompress and, um, and get back into who I am outside of the character, um, which has been nice. Uh, well, I've been very fortunate that I've um, got a nice house to live in with a garden. We've had nice weather. I've got a young baby who's now 10 months old, but you know, she spent almost half her life in lockdown. And it's been, from that point of view, it's been wonderful just to be able to spend time with her and, and, and to, to be with her every day when, you know, under other circumstances, I might've been working and whatever. So from that point of view, it's, it's been great. It's been, it's interesting though, the question you asked, because one of the big things for my character in the show is that he is so isolated, obviously. Uh, and for someone that where control is such an important part, control and power, such a huge thing for him, to not know what's going on out there, to not have, a way to interact with the world and you know that's something that obviously we've all been kind of going through a bit um and and to to not be able to have a sense of what's on, what's out there what's happening how do i i I'm, I'm restricted from getting out into the world and 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 making things happen and it was really interesting that to have that feeling we're so not used to that we're, we're such a connected world now you know right. um and uh, and to suddenly even though even with all that technology to be like, right, I've got to watch the news because that's the only way I can find out what's going on, really. Or, you know, you're, you're online and on social media and trying to work it out. But it doesn't make up for... I remember someone saying to me, very early on in lockdown, someone said to me, uh, so how is your community? You know, how are the people in the community dealing with this? I was like, I don't know. I don't go out there. <laughs> it's really <laughs> frustrating. And I don't yeah. know how people are feeling about this. I can't talk about it because I've only got what's online. And if if my community isn't there, then I don't know because I'm not interacting right. with them. So that was inter that was really fascinating in terms of the character. Uh, well, we <clears throat> we developed our relationship as characters as the episodes went on because with each scene, um, because we obviously then we spent time with each other off set, so we we got to know each other better, but on set with each scene, there is a different amount of progression that happens in different ways. <clears throat> and um, it was, it's really fun. It always sounds like a, a weird word to use because those scenes are really stressful and um, em emotionally hard, but actually it is fun to be able to discover, um, make discoveries in, in our job and not to come to set having planned out how it's gonna go. And, and they, we can do that for many different reasons. One of the reasons is, is that there's only two people in the scene and the scene is in a, in a small room. So it's not that we can go crazy and, and it messes up everything. Actually, we have a lot of freedom in that space um, because it's such a simple space and there's not much we can mess up in, in the scene. So that gives us a tremendous amount of freedom to do um, various different things uh, within the scenes. So. <clears throat> that was that's been really exciting um and as i yeah as i would have said at the, the upfront i knew going into it that um my scene partner in michael would is incredibly capable and would be very exciting to work with and i wasn't worried at all about oh the person that i'm playing opposite is going to be all about themselves or is going to be you know which i have experienced in the past i knew that those scenes were going to be really meaty and fun to do and that's what I had been missing in my in my acting career for a little bit of time. I didn't feel that 
I had had enough of that sustenance and why we do this job. And so knowing that I was going to get that, I was very, very happy. <laughs> and it is, it is fascinating doing a, a long running show, you know, a, a, a series like this, you do inevitably spend way more time together as characters than you do as people. Like I, I've spent way more time with Tom as Martin than I have as Michael. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and it becomes, it's interesting how that works because you do, I mean, it's not even a shorthand. You just, my, my understanding of the character of Malcolm is through the accumulative um, experience I've had with, with him in my cell, you know, and, and it becomes, it's very real then. You don't have to do that weird switch, you know, if you're, if you're spending a lot of time as just as people, as actors together offset. You're like, oh yeah, now, oh, now we're characters. You don't have to do that because you just, you're sort of in character all the time, pretty much together. You'd have to work really hard to spend as much time together as people as you do as characters. Like, it's just impossible. Yeah. And, and that really helps with something like this, particularly yeah. when, you know, my character is just isolated in a cell and then his son comes in and, and he's like, right. You know, you, 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 it's like soaking up like a sponge information off the other person, which really helps in terms of the acting, because you really do listen. You really are hyper aware of any little eye movement or gesture, because you know, you're trying to read off the other person all the time. And, it, and, it, and I think that really adds to the scenes. Then. I mean, the end of, the, of season one, we, we were very fortunate in a way that we were able to do our finale, even though production got shot down before got shut down before the end of the season because we'd all, we'd shot our finale early because I had to leave for something else. So fortunately it worked out that we'd already shot that. And then the writers and everybody were very, very clever in the way that they were able to um, find a way to create the through line because they, the idea was that we'd shoot the finale, then they would go back and shoot earlier episodes. And that's when production got shut down. So they were very clever at making that work. But we were very fortunate, unlike other shows that just didn't get to end their season, we already had the end of the, the season. So that was very uh, fortunate. Um, so we'll be starting fresh, absolutely. It's going to be very hard. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I, I'm not looking forward to it in a way because a lot of stuff which makes the job enjoyable won't be there anymore. And um, what I really enjoy is spending time with the crew and, and working things out and, and it being kind of a group effort. And um, it won't feel like that in the same way. And, and me being um, the lead character, like if I go, if I get ill, then we're kind of, we're a bit screwed really. And so I'll be in this, I don't know, like some kind of pod, like all the time, like being like, yeah. Um, very protected the whole time, which which I think will be very isolating. Um, and so that's going to be have to be something which emotionally and mentally I have to come to terms with. And just little things that I would do for myself, like grabbing a pizza on the way home at a local bar. Like I, I can't do those little things that will allow me to decompress. And so there'll be a lot of coping strategies and stuff that come in. Um, as far as starting the new season, those two episodes that we didn't end up shooting, uh, we still have those storylines that we can use. One of them was an amazing serial killer storyline. And it was, so it was really fun that we still have those plots. And also um, some of the footage that we shot with Ainsley, with Halston, was then recycled into a teaser for next season, which it kind of just all figured itself out really nicely. Um, we all want to go back to work as soon as we can um, when it's safe. And, and, and I think the world in which we're living in will definitely be referenced in, in the new season. Um, oh, good. It's kind of a gift that it, this has happened to the entire world. It's not like we have to establish something. It's it's something that would be weird if we didn't reference it in the show. Yeah. So um so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I mean there are unfortunately murders still happening and and at the end of uh, the season, you know, we have this whole situation and what happens with bodies in in the age of covid like how do you maybe it made it easier to hide you know all of these different things are storylines that we can definitely work with.